Minnesotans are on the forefront of a potentially promising treatment for the sickest COVID-19 patients. The FDA issued an emergency use authorization for covalescent plasma in hospitalized patients. It's a therapy program led by the Mayo Clinic that relies on the blood of people who've recovered from the virus, and the White House calls it a major advancement. This is a powerful therapy. In a Sunday news conference, President Trump announced the FDA is issuing an emergency authorization allowing blood plasma as a therapeutic treatment for COVID-19. This is what I've been looking to do for a long time. This is a great thing. Today's action will dramatically expand access to this treatment. The president has expressed support for the treatment on numerous occasions. Last week, he accused the FDA of being slow to embrace covalescent plasma in an effort to weaken his chances of reelection. Mayo Clinic is the lead institution for collecting and distributing plasma to patients across the country. And while the effectiveness of plasma treatment is not clear, its study found potential signs of efficacy. The data we gathered suggests that patients who were treated early in their disease course, within three days of being diagnosed, with plasma containing high levels of antibodies, benefited the most from treatment. The White House says the treatment led to a 35% better survival rate for patients who were under 80 and not on artificial respiration. This is a major advance in the treatment of patients. The federal government gave the Mayo Clinic $48 million for the plasma study. More than 53,000 COVID-19 patients took part.